today I'll be showing you how to make a microwave for Barbie and I picked those up from Walmart you get two containers in one package and it cost me six something we're gonna cut those two sides off the longer ones not those ones So I printed this on photo paper. It's a printable for the microwave. I'm going to put a link in the description box down below where you can go and print it out if you like. So I actually pre-cut all of the cardboard for the microwave. Also I pre-cut the scrapbook paper that looks like stainless steel. I got it from my local scrapbook store. I'll right away give you the measurements here. Five inches. And for the scrapbook paper, I always leave like a little frame around it so I can bend it after. And then same with this one. Three and a half. And the microwave is going to be two inches wide. And then what I did here, I just took this and put some weight on it. Trace this over here. And we're going to cut it out now. Careful when using an X-Acto knife. We're going to glue this side on. Don't glue the other side on. I'm going to take and glue all of them on. And then you can glue this one on too. And then we'll just cut it out. Take scissors and just cut off the ends like this. And do that to all of your other pieces. And after, we're just going to take it and fold it over. Now we're going to take one of the sides and glue the bottom part on. And also glue this part on. And then same on the other side. Gonna let it dry like this. Take one side. Glue it on. Glue on the back, all of the sides. After we glued all of those four sides together, we're going to glue it back on. So now we're going to take the left side and measure and cut out this part here a bit so we can actually open it after on this side too. So after the sides are glued together, take two pieces of cardboard as long as they fit in here. Put them on the end here and we are gonna glue them together because uh, the container has like 
it goes up in the front here but it has nothing in the back so it will tilt over a bit so we're going to put two in there and it's going to stay straight take another piece and cut it so it fits right in between here first we're going to cut out this printable here and then we're going to cut this out and you can also cut this off and before we cut we're going to glue this on The label ends here. This is where we're going to cut it off. We're going to cut off a few strips of that scrapbook paper here. We're going to glue it all around here so the cardboard doesn't show. same thing around here just to cover the cardboard the same on the top same on this side here And now we're going to glue on those three sides here. The container and glue it on so we don't see the blue frame here. Just make sure it's like this. We're going to hold, hold it in place and glue it on. Take some cardboard and stick it in here. And another one. Now we're gonna glue this one on. Cut another piece. Try to fit it in here and glue it on. So the lid was a little bit too small, but I used the same lid, but just cut out a bigger uh, scrap of paper here, just because we went out a bit on the top because of the lid plus the cardboard here, so it's not a big deal. And we're going to glue on the whole thing like this, make sure not to put any glue on here. some white paper I'm gonna use the one that I printed out gonna take the second container here I'm gonna take that container and just trace it around cut it out because we're gonna take all of that inside there and glue it on so it has like a white inside Scrap a piece like this in here just to cover the bottom. Let me 
make a line here so I know where to bend it. And we're gonna glue it on. Now you can open it, put your Barbie's food in there, and just close it up, and you're good to go.